here welcome back to another walkthrough of the outer worlds man what's your boy moving it's a pleasure and honor to have you join me on another one another great adventure journey in the cosmos man you already know we out here being a cowboy in space how about we just get right into it man <laughs> i was I was about to say something and I completely drew a blank, but yeah, man, let's get it. All right, y'all, we're here at Phineas's lab. I'm going to see about this whole transmitting chip. I don't want to, like, put it on Phineas's thing yet. I just, I'm not too sure, and I want to see what, what happens first before I do any of that. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I went behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist, hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Hmm. What was that about, Mr. Minister Clark? Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. What's so important about these chemicals? If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists. And then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. So what's the plan? Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa, she's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Warning label? Something about being discontinued due to severe adverse reactions. It's fine. You'll be stealing the chemicals, not ingesting them. Anything I should know about this, Carmen? You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Actually, there was something else I want to talk to you about. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Okay, here it is. The adjutant wanted me ask me to plan a tracking signal in your lab, but I'm not going to do it. You absolutely should. I can't tell you if you're being sarcastic. I was actually expecting a thank you. You've got a plan of some sort? The adjutant must have sent you some kind of tracking code. If you don't use the code, she'll suspect you betrayed her. I think you should use the code and send a corrupted tracking signal. Well, that should buy me some time. I get it. You want to prepare. You sure you're okay with this? The enemy is bound to discover my hideout sooner or later. I'm prepared for that eventuality. This is just my way of buying myself a little time. Use my communications terminal to corrupt the tracking signal. While the board busies themselves trying to decipher it, I'll have plenty of time to prepare my defenses. Uh, okay, okay, here we go, there we go. A moment of Absolutely. Talk. Let's talk. Don't you ever leave your lab? Oh, goodness, no. I wouldn't survive ten seconds in the blackness of the Aether. 
Well, no, I imagine I'd last at least 12 seconds before I'd lose consciousness and die of hypoxia. Come on, Phineas, there has to be something you do for fun. I enjoyed the occasional aether wave drama in my youth. Not anymore. All bored propaganda. I'd rather not be brainwashed. To answer your question, I'd rather stay right here in my lab. There's too much work to be done. The Hope's colonists won't revive themselves, you know. How's that coming along, by the way? Remarkably well. After all, I managed to revive you without too many adverse side effects. We're even having a real conversation. That's progress. Once you steal some chemicals from Byzantium, we can finally begin the process of reviving the Hope's colonists. Get me those chemicals, and I'll revive the Hope. Revive the Hope, put a stop to the board. Stop the board, save the colony from destruction. Cause and effect. Simple, really. My progress is tied to your progress. We're in this together, my friend. I could give your research a peer review if you want. I'm well aware of your scientific acumen, but you're far better suited to working in the field than I am. Leave the blackboard work to me. Ten years. That's how long the average human can remain in hibernation. You were frozen for decades. In theory, you never should have survived the revival process. But the conventional theories are wrong. You're living proof that it can be done. There's yet hope for the hope. <laughs> Get it? Don't try to be funny, Phoenix. It doesn't work. Right. <laughs> so much for banter, eh? I'd best get back to work. Oh, I can feel my last dose of caffeinoid fading. I think of this terminal. Send. Send tracking. Tracking signal. Send corrupted tracking signal. Ah, that should do it. You've bought me more than enough time. All right. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. Ah, shit. Let's go see what they're up to. See what they're talking about now. Hey, Max. What? You really think we all have a purpose? That everything happens for a reason? It's not really that simple, but yes, fine. Anything else? <sighs> if that's the case, is it my fault? Uh, <laughs> you're to be annoyed by me. <laughs> uh, fucking Ellie you have so a message funny. from adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Wait, I have a question. Transmissions are so impersonal. I'd like to meet you face to face. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else? Do they know? Positive. I didn't actually get nothing negative, actually. That's that was interesting. City and the stars. I think we're gonna leave that for later. Let's actually go finish our other quest before we do any of that. Don't know how you managed to get Zora and Sanjar in the same room. Yo, know, this is gonna be interesting now that we're back on Monarch. I actually did not know it was like this. I didn't know. There was even a freaking landing pad here, bro. Huh. Who would have thought? Now there's a woman who knows what she wants. I like her. You know how their folk are all crusty outside, but warm and squishy inside? I'm pretty sure she's crust all the way through. 
Judging from the blood spatter on your shirt, I take it you visited my favorite cleaner? Sure. Boss, I mean you. Funny. You don't look like one of Lilia's. Sure sound the part, though. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's going to require special extraction from Cascadia. Find a passcode on a corpse and start a bag. I guess it grants access to the extraction site. Found it on a corpse, huh? If you killed Lilia's agent, you get to explain it to her. Not me. He was dead when I got there. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. Still, no time for weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. I hate the Atavita stuff that So you got a brain on mentioned. them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Find safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Remind me what this gas is exactly. Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. Are you kidding me? Hold your thrusters. I ain't even got to the tricky part. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? I saw Bones Ellie could probably cook something up. I'm a doctor, not a vet. But what's the worst that could happen? I shall leave the details to you. Now... After you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Good thing we have an engineer in Pavati will handle it. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I, I think I know how to do that. N no, I can do that. I think. Yes. Mostly? Definitely. Dandy. <coughs> Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. Best of luck, Fixer. Like you're a fixer just like you are and um I don't think I like Miss Catherine. Not just on account of the swearing, though she swears awful much. I'd have a drink with her. Though I'd keep one hand on my gun and the other on my bit cartridge. Hey, Cass. Knock knock. Go away, White. Go away, White. Alright, y'all, let's see what the hell. Nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain. It's kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. That's true. I see you stuck around. Engineers looking to get a dust bag casserole. Can you cook one of those? That was a real popular meal 10, 20 years back before the board tucked tail and ran. These days, everybody's had a belly full of salt tuna. They all want borst and the mushrooms. Well, not many venture out of town. What with the monsters hereabouts? I can whip one up for you, but it'll cost. Here's a menu. Oh, yikes. I can't cover this much, Captain. You take me for an idiot. No doubt casserole's worth that much. Try again. Try harder. What? No, Captain. I, I don't want you to do it this way. It's all right, miss. I'm a coward at heart. Made that clear from the outset. Look, Captain. This is the best I can do without putting myself out of business. All right. I'm glad you saw a reason. 2,000 bits is much more reasonable. 
I'm mighty glad you reckon so. <laughs> this is gonna take about an hour in the oven. Nothing I can do to speed it. That's just how cooking works. There we are. Now, if you don't mind, I really need to take a leak. My belly's gurgling just to smell it, Mr. Raymond. Thank you so much. A pleasure to help such a charming young lady. You're a gentle soul, miss. Be careful with this one, all right? He's kind of a brute. Oh, gosh. My tongue's rumbling just smelling that casserole. Hey, motherfucker. You trying to charge me 3000 for a casserole, bro? <laughs> I hit that intimidate so fast. Aren't those cakes just about the cutest little things you ever seen? Bro, and I had came here too, and I saw that, and that was the one thing. I'm always picking up random shit and for some reason. The dust bat casserole Mr. Raymond made smells incredible. Oh, I kind of want to take a little taste, but I'm going to be strong. Now look how cute these cakes from Cascadia are. Someone even traced little hearts in them. Oh, I guess that settles dinner. Thanks for hauling me all over creation, Captain. Well, I was gonna, but then it hit me. I got this nice meal all planned out with music, and I got that soap to scrub up with, but I don't got nothing nice to wear, Captain. You have anything in particular in mind? I don't have a head for fashion, and I can't really picture myself in something clean and pretty. There's this place I heard of in Byzantium, Jollicker's Haberdashery. I bet I could find something nigh on perfect at a place like that. This is a good thing we got that nap key for Byzantium. Vicar would say it's the universal equation at work. I reckon it's just that 90% of everything that ain't crap is in Byzantium. I know this is all a little crazy, Captain, but I think it's gotta be this place. I saw the lady who runs it on Aether Wave, and, well, she made everybody she dressed feel better. Confident. All right, we'll swing by and see what we can. Thanks, Captain. I know I've been asking a lot. But you help me out every time. You're the best. I guess my perception wasn't high enough that time right there. Kind of sucked, but whatever. It is what it is. Weapons from the void. What's in here? Supervisor override. There we go. I freaking went around. What the hell is wrong with me? Where is those blue purple berry punch? Hello? Anybody here? Damn, it's just empty as hell, bro. Real slick. Kind of sucks that there's like no little like lock picking mini game, but maybe at the same time some people might not care. Signal Ada to land on the Cascadia pad. From redacted subjects, see you on the station. Redacted? Why is it redacted? You will not see me, but I will be close. Continue your search, doctor. Report to me. We have achieved a mission and stay. What about for secondary lab? Will you be serv supervising our research this time or will it be standard work from the shadows routine? Thank you for your optimism, Laura. What we're doing isn't easy under the best circumstances. I can promise you that our research will lead to a better Haitian, even if we have to pay a terrible cost getting there. Have your orders. Doctor, your project is too important, too sensitive to allow any hint of it to reach the public. With all respect, I urge you to reconsider your decision to classify your research results on the native fauna on Terra 1. I assure you that we will diligently redact any references to our project or its purpose from any papers we release. We have made several discoveries about how the terraforming process affected the Nusian of the Raptodon and Manti families and the very least allow us to inform our fellow board researchers that if these creatures were perished 
when O2 concentrations are reduced to 19.5%, a level with an human tolerance. This is not about fame or prestige, it's about potentially saving lives, please. Damn, so... Mantasaurs. Alright, so we know that that's that over there. Proximity alert. Biology human. Protocol kill all plants. Suspended. Present your Rizzo identification credentials or prepare to be downsized. Disengage security protocols. I'm not a threat. Attempting to disengage security protocols without proper authorization is a fireable offense. Priming weapons. Executive level password accepted. As identification according to employee ID protocol A-3501. Welcome back, doctor. Be advised. Mantasaur threat level is petrifying purple berry. <laughs> Please use caution. Mantasaur wounds are not covered under Rizzo's health policy. Have a productive day. Can we talk? Oh my god. So, we're just gonna march straight into Byzantium and acquire some rare chemicals right under the board's nose? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Why do you say that? Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. Phineas is trying to do good for the colony and I want to help. The least I can do is help him see this through. Um, I mean, it's kind of both of these, so I'm gonna just. I want to go That's with one this way one. of looking at it. Another is that he pulled you out of hibernation without your say so and got you to do his dirty work. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? I got no connections here, but if I play my cards right, I can come out on top. There's that. Hey, if Hesion goes down, we all do. I'll do what I can. Like, I'll do what I can to fix it. Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. I'm not going to become some corporate lackey. Don't think of it as being a lackey. Think of it as doing a job and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. You're wrong about that. Hey, I'm not trying to piss on your bonfire. But you ought to hear this from someone, and it might as well be an ally with a financial interest in your well-being. Anything else? What do you think about Zora and Sanjir coming to terms? Things on Monarch have really cooled off. I didn't think MSI and the Iconoclast would ever talk. Outside of shouting four-letter words, I mean. Just goes to show there's always a peaceful option. Sure. And fish sticks are really made from Saltuna. Look, I won't knock the work you did. I'm sure they'll have a good cry, look through old photographs, share a pint of premium double chocolate cacao gelato. But sooner or later, things will go back to the way they were. People don't change. Not really. You gotta try looking for the good in people. In my experience, it spread real thin. Anyway, I'd hate to see you get broken up if this thing between them doesn't last. I still know you care. Hey. Let's not make this out to be more than it is. Anything else? June Leia like a casserole, right? Everyone likes a casserole. I mean, I don't really, but I don't count. There are cakes. Cakes I like. Gosh, I hope she likes them too. Yeah? I, I mean, what do you need? Captain? Mister? Sir? <laughs> I mean, what do you need, Captain? Mister? Sir? 
Keep him quiet, Cap. Watch your step, Captain. Someone's left traps all over. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going. Captain, this terminal controls airflow for the entire bunker. I've got an idea. Let's hear it. I'll drop the O2 levels to 19.5%. That's still enough for humans, but the mantisaurs will die in a matter of minutes. Here goes. Good plan. Don't thank me yet. Down they go. I'll just say, don't kill them. <laughs> Purple bear, that's it. That's how they got. God, deal with these motherfuckers, bro. What's up there? Easy. My fueling system. Initiate transfer of Alta Vita gas. Focus groups are located in R and D lab. Guess that was the hard part. Now it's just the part that might blow us up. Log animal trials. Sam was skeptical that animal trials would yield good data, but I wanted to start small. Someone had thought to pack a breeding stock of four proof. File fruit flies from Earth, writing them off as mere pest species has limited our research efforts more than one. Approval from CMP, I made a wrench to pursue, to pursue the Broad's factory near Fallbrook. Sisty pigs mature reasonably swiftly. I feel like this is the best option available to us. Done great things with Sisty pigs. Engineering in the past, of course, my current project is far more difficult than merely enchanting. The baconated flavoring of sisty pig tumors. Let's see if I can make lightning twice. The board has repeatedly denied my request for data from other teams investigating the issue. I'm guessing the Air Force have progressed no further than others. We've been heading to a town. We'll be heading to a town called Cascadia. Apparently, Rizu volunteered to provide lab space to use a chance of seeing. Uh, I like transfer this data from here and shit. I'm assuming. Yeah, buddy. Some gratitude. There's someone in there. You didn't have to do go you didn't have to go this far to get out of pain that bad vet. I mean you gave me six years to pay you back for at least last year's championship. I told you where I had your back. We could have drawn straws or something, but you went off and did it. Didn't even tell me this should have ha shouldn't have happened, man. Fuck this. You earn better. This is why you don't go getting attached. What an awful brave thing to do. 
I used to think you'd be happy about the day of Ricardo these days. I'm mostly thinking about how you should still be with us and we have more support from the board and no one should have ever needed to take such a crazy stupid free risk. No of your folks will ever get to see you, but I made sure you were all tidy so I'll st stitch is able to put you in your best suit, did it herself alone, said that she owed you. And look how loved he was for it. Tom, as your manager, I'm supposed to review your achievements in history, holding up employees of important milestones that emphasize your ability to work with and sacrifice for the company, even when we die. It's all how much did you make for us? Everyone here knows that we're up against and how long we have. You know better than anyone the way you talked about the lives we forget and passing the dock worker who kept a red handkerchief in one of her pockets and you wondered why the server at the bar trying to read a book on the slide until our order was up you wonder what it was a broker who swept the roads but when she found a dead sprat stopped to bury it didn't notice half the lives around me until you point out the little things that made each one one unlike any other you've met i have to live long enough that i can shout your name at byzantium and tell everyone what you did for them because i could write for 40 days and nights and not tell a tenth of the little things i saw on you damn you're an excellent Testimonial. These are all testimonials. Upon our return to Byzantium, I will file to have a copyright for our work made in your name. The companies will own them, but your name will be on every legal filing. People will see it and perhaps think of you. This adequately communicates the depths of my esteem. I will forever appreciate your efforts to improve communication between myself and the rest of the team. I do, do not believe I will drink vodka again, however. Damn, this will sacrifice themselves for, for science. For a second, I thought we were gonna be able to like free him from his slumber and shit. And then we were gonna be able to like talk to him or some shit. Authorized user, tissue company, acceptable losses, chief concern, rejection of tissues, appalling, classical limb transportation. So, obviously, on a cylinder level, the scale, I have much to consider. For a second, I'm told the board is pulling out of Terra 1 and we don't even have time to transfer our research for once I'm grateful our labors didn't make significant strides here won't forget Tom's sacrifice up until the end he knew it had to happen if it wasn't one of us the board would have volunteered inmates from Tataras I'll be sure to carry his example to a new lab in the next phase of human trials look there's got to be some kind of award for that. We're going to have to fight no Manta Queen at the end. So there's that. Uh, let me take a look-see. Okay. I'm thinking if I patch this into our fuel cell network, we can use the empty tanks to hold this Ulta Wada Biddle stuff. Just got to compensate for the pressure difference. We burn liquid reaction mass, not gas. And the cells are distributed all through the hull, so I gotta isolate the empties. That looks right. You remember the sticky valve on number 16? Of course I did, Captain. Just gave it a little jiggle. There we are. Good as pretty and twice as new. Nice oh, work. I just, just did my thing. You know. Hey, take the compliment. You did the work. Yo, I never seen them actually jump. That's kind of cool, bro. I've never actually seen them like jump or do anything like that before. And jump that time, but that's all right. Mind control ray. Damn, bro. What? A misfit form put a research group specializing in marketing jingles into an advanced top secret weapon research facility. The research group spent months incorporating their new marketing jingles into the advanced weaponry, developed the mind control way. Once the mishap was discovered, the entire facility was shut down and all personnel were reassigned to the most remote outpost corporate confine. Man, y'all wouldn't believe that I died like twice trying to go down those ladders, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I ain't about to show that. Let's just, just keep it going. Yeah, man. 
That was pretty, pretty interesting. Could have sworn I already cleared that <laughs> ability now, but we'll just avoid that room. Ah, uh, yeah. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Oh boy, look at you. What a mess. You never had no one to take care of you, huh? So don't fret. I'll be your minder now. Uh, evening, Captain. Or is it afternoon? I don't know how long I've been up here. Our fuel cells are now primed with Alta Vitae gas. As the organics say, let us hope we do not explode in transit to the groundbreaker. So this is Harlow's base, huh? Felix's friends. That's exactly why I dressed you up in this was fucking outfit though, so you care, boy. Hey you! Looking for something? Where do you think you're going? Through you if you push me. Hey, nice form. Good delivery too. You looking to join Captain Harlow's crew, huh? All right, go on through. Got my sights on you. That looks like that one ship. We open our shadows. Harlow's the boss. Fuck the board. Rule three. Why are you still reading pain? Wake up. You're seeing there's a board already owned you. Looking for the rules. Watch the last game to you. Peace. Fuck rules and fuck terminals. It's not a revolution. We're using the weapons. They race. <laughs> oh, blood, huh? Oh, look at that. Marlo. Oh, he a good boy. He got big teeth. Well, hey there, Hullhead. Clawed your way out of the groundbreaker at long last? Uh-huh. Oh, sorry, were you expecting me to say something? Maybe a long time no see or a you've aged old man? No, it's fine. I'll do my own introductions. Mugen, Harlow, Harlow, Mugen. Your captain has a sense of humor, Felix. Good. There's a time and place for humor. So, you took Felix under your wing. Kept him busy. Good. Kid always needed a place to belong. Felix is uh, a vital member of our crew. He's, uh, well, he's good in a fight. Hear that, Clyde? I've been making something out of myself. So long as you haven't been making a fool of yourself. I'm sure Felix has no end of stories to tell of your exploits together. I look forward to catching up with the boy. Felix has plenty to say about you. I imagine he has. I was a mentor to the boy during his formative years. You might say I have an elder brotherly interest in his development. Oh, it would have been nice to know that sometime in the last, uh, hang on, doing some math. Half a decade? I'm working on something. Something big. Something the likes of which Halcyon has never seen. And I want Felix to be a part of my initiative. I'm fulfilling a promise I made to the boy. That one day, he and I would change the colony together. That day has finally arrived. Easy there, Clyde. No one said nothing about throwing in with you. In case you didn't notice, I'm pretty happy where I am. I'm not asking you to walk away from your captain, Felix. But neither should you allow yourself to be controlled by fear. Change is not to be feared. I brought you here because I want to know where Felix's loyalties lie. When the day of our revolution comes, I want to know that I can rely on him. Good luck. He's the least reliable crew on a ship literally called the unreliable. Then, then allow me to enlighten you. Felix is loyal to me. I understand that Felix is part of your crew, at least for now. If the thought of losing him troubles you, then understand that you're helping him solve a problem for an old friend. I want you to deal with a traitor for me. Name's Trask. Kill him and bring me proof of his death. His ring should do nicely. You can't control your own people, Harlow? We're not a band of common pirates, Captain. We are revolutionaries. I expect a certain degree of intestinal fortitude from my soldiers. Trask was a coward. 
What did his trials do to deserve death? Ratted us out to the board. He's been an informant. Has been for years. When he realized I was on to him, he and his little cadre mutinied. Killed five of my own and tucked tail. I don't know where he's hiding, but his wife might. Rosanna. Lives on the groundbreaker last I checked. Rosanna knows my crew by name and face, but you're a stranger to her. She'll talk to you. There's more to this than you're letting on. You think so? Maybe we should have a word with Trask. Get his side of the story first. You'd be wasting your breath bandying words with that traitor. But if it makes you feel better, by all means. Remember, I want proof. Bring me his ring. I don't care if the hand's still attached. Here, my token. Think of this as my personal signature. Anyone who knows me by my works will know me by this token. This is something I'd like to ask you. Let's hear it. You guys tell me you disappeared one day. I was working on this plan for years, saving every bit I could, drawing plans, biding my time. I never intended to spend my life laboring on the groundbreaker. When the opportunity presented itself, I did what I had to do. I left. You might have said something. I had some ugly business in Scylla. If I told you, I would have implicated you. You want to elaborate on that? Hephaestus controlled mining operations all over Scylla. Most of these operations failed. The company pulled out and abandoned their facilities. Mostly abandoned anyway. This one was running on a skeleton crew. My associates and I seized control in a matter of minutes. You say you were working on something big. Well, what is A revolution this? is the work of a lifetime, Captain. I've spent my life preparing for the day of Halcyon's reckoning. Everything you see around you is the result of that preparation. A base of operations, loyal soldiers, freedom from the board's oversight. What makes you think you're free? The skies around Scylla are curiously absent of patrol ships. It's almost as if the board's sphere of influence is shrinking. Besides, our facility is well armed and located on defensible terrain. If the board tries to lay siege to us, We'll make them pay. So you're a band of all laws living on the edge of an asteroid, some revolution. Not all revolutions involve bloodshed and fire, Captain. The purest act of rebellion is to live according to one's own means, independent of any masters. One day, when the board is weak and Halcyon vulnerable, we may claim a piece of this system for ourselves. Until then, we bide our time. Sounds like you got some plan to overthrow the board. Hardly. The board is rotting from the inside. Tomorrow, next year, a generation from now, eventually, the board will fall to pieces. Entropy is the natural state of the universe, Captain. All systems inevitably dissolve. When that day comes to Halcyon, we will be ready. That was simultaneously the least scientific and most pompous statement I've heard in ages. Well done, Mr. Harlow. A vicar. I admit. I never imagined a man of the cloth living the adventurer's life. You do keep some interesting company. Was there anything else? Let's change the subject. Something on your mind? How well do you know Felix? Well enough. It's been a few years, but I still remember a thing or two. You had a chip on your shoulder. You'd argue over anything and you'd never back down. What do you mean had? And for the record, you never could admit when you lost an argument. You see what I have to deal with? Hmm. So that's it. Been ages since we had a good haul. No freighters, no jobs, no contracts, please. What the hell? What have the solar winds deposited on my doorstep now? Just more dirt and debris? Or do you actually believe you are here seeking the truth? I must admit, I tire of the truth seekers. Mayhaps you're here to rob me? That would be so much more exciting. Uh, we're here to get this book translated, Max. We've been told this was once yours. I believe the knowledge within here contains the answers I seek. Answers that will free men's minds from toil. I can translate it, but it won't do you any good. I can see you are a man in a hurry. And the insights in that book would take you years of study to fully comprehend. I have spent my life in contemplation. I believe my mind is prepared to receive the truth. A long way to get some help. 
Is there anything you can do to help? There is one way that can speed up the process. It involves a combination of several ingredients, some of which can be fatal. It is not for the faint of heart or the unprepared. When you say ingredients, you mean drugs, right? A crass way to put it, but yes. Chemicals that can expand or destroy the participant's consciousness. Well, Max just said he was prepared, didn't he? And I believe he may be right. There is both violence and peace warring inside you, Max. This process would be extremely tenuous for one such as yourself. I'm committed, no matter the cost. No matter the cost. <laughs> it's just drugs, Max. We ain't making you walk in front of a firing squad. I'm committed to taking as many drugs as possible, so count me in as well. All right. <laughs> Head on into the meditation room and partake of the sacramental incense. It's waiting on the table when you're ready to begin. What's wrong, Max? Can't think. I got your story right. No. This whole thing is. Hello, Max. What? Who? Why do you look like me? Are you me? No. Yeah, Max. Why do you do that? What are you talking about? I can do that. Yeah, they got, got this. The fuck? I see you're back with us. Feared we. I woke up. The illusions I built for myself just fell away. I'm no longer interpreting, I'm experiencing. Everything is in a way. Perhaps it's more accurate to say I was... Of course there is pain and loss, but the suffering is caused by trying to control reality. Clinging... I am... So... Not so much found as finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. It looks like you learned something in there as well. Nope, oh, I already knew that. I was just enjoying myself. Of course you were. We should go. Alright, well, that was interesting. the groundbreaker we go try to speak to Rosanna I think the wife of the dude that we're looking for I guess the dude wants us to kill him probably not even gonna kill him we're probably just gonna try to see if we get the dude's ring Let's see what his wife has to say and then I think we're gonna go talk to Catherine so we can wrap up that quest there she is you mind trying to have a moment here Let's just go with, are you Rosanna? Yeah, I was called that once upon a day. You need something? I'm looking for a guy by the name of Rufus. So he lived around here? Rufus and I are no longer on speaking terms. I don't know where he is. And if I did, I wouldn't tell you. I'm on the level. You can ask Jun Lee about me. You're telling me you're on a first name basis with Ms. Tennyson? Yeah, I repaired the groundbreakers radiators for her radiators. Yeah, the promenade doesn't feel like I'm walking the surface of Tartarus. So that was you, huh? Rufus is hiding out in Emerald Vale. Got a few friends with him. That's as much as I know. Alright. Got a few more questions. Please, just make it quick. How much do you know about Harlow? Precious little. He and Rufus worked together on the Groundbreaker some years back before he vanished. 
A few years later, Rufus gets a message from an old friend. Something about starting a revolution. Something about getting rich. Abandoned his work and ran off that very day. Sound familiar, Felix? He must have been recruiting. Gathering up his band of revolutionaries. Word of advice, kid? Anybody carrying on about a revolution just wants to sell you something. I don't know, Harlow. Never so much as bandied a word with a fellow. You're better off having this discussion with Rufus. Harlow tells me Tras betrayed him. Do you know anything about that? Only that Rufus is in a bad way. He came to see me a little ways back. Said he had to go into hiding. Never asked why. He was here to collect his personals, complain about Harlow to me, and say goodbye. In that order. He didn't tell you anything about Harlow? No, and he was particular about that. Said I was better off not getting entangled in his mess. Little late for that, says I. You and Trust split up? That's right. Our marriage contract expired some months ago. And seeing how he's technically an outlaw, I wouldn't renew even if I wanted to. <laughs> so marriage is... Appreciate it. No offense, meant. Just been a long day is all. So there's a... Uh... So in this game, marriage is more of like a contract. I mean, pretty much what it already is, right? Saying that you're not gonna, you're gonna love each other until death do you part. Pretty much is a contract, but in this shit is like literally a contract. They literally made it more into a contract and everything. BNP Borst Pocket. Candy Macrowave in two and a half seconds. Borst Pocket. <laughs> And like you could renew the contract if you want. She's like, well, he was an outlaw, so I ain't renewing shit. I'm good. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120 some cubic meters of it at a million bits a pop. Take this. You've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm going to buy a gold toilet to shit in. You're not the only one who enjoys the finer things, Lilia. You know what? Fuck it. Enjoy yourself. I invest in the happiness of my workers, and you deserve a bigger cut. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Do you always send your first-timers into certain peril? In case you were curious, no one was following me. No one you saw, anyway. Glad to see you're looking out for yourself. I hope you kept the Unreliable's engines warm, because I got another job lined up for my new favorite contractor. They're going to salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? How big we talking? Not like Groundbreaker big, right? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. This sounds risky. Do you have a buyer lined up? Not this time. The board tolerates our business up to a point, and selling off a station full of their old gear and terminals crosses that point. But if we were to move in and commandeer the station as a sublight salvage remote office, that's a different matter. Legally gray by comparison. More of a squatter situation. Mm. How did a research station become salvage? Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. Just point me in the right direction. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Who are, you, who are we worried about? Authorities? C competitors? Both. Neither. Right now, it's safer if I keep you in the dark. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. All righty then. Captain, Felix and the vicar are arguing again. You ain't making a lick of sense, Max. Of course I got a self. I'm me, Felix Millstone. No, that is just a story you've been building for yourself from a very young age. 
There, see? You just said yourself. Your self. I guess I got a self after all. Checkmate, preacher. Semantics and nothing more. The construction of our language assumes the existence of a self. Whoa, 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 slow down. What's this about construction work? Our language has all manner of paradoxes contained within it. Tell me, what happens to your lap when you stand up? What are you talking about? Max, you've been acting real funny ever since you and that hermit sniffed all them drugs. Maybe you ought to ask Ellie to take a look at your head. All right, y'all. Well, this concludes the end of this walkthrough of the Outer Worlds. It's been a pleasure and honor having you join me on this adventure. Hope you join me next time. And if you like this video, man, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. And as always, man, I love y'all. Y'all stay blessed out here. Y'all stay safe. It's your boy, Mugen, saying peace. And we out, man.